Hey guys, my name is Jared Dowling and I'm currently a senior. I'm about to graduate soon and obviously we're going through the whole college process and everything. So I decided to make a video about my journey through the whole process. I decided to apply to 30 schools and I know that sounds like a lot off the bat, but trust me, it's it, it'll make sense in a little bit. But I realized soon during the process that a lot of places you could apply to for free or you could waive, get your fee waived by calling the office of admissions or you get a fee waiver for just having good grades and everything like that. So I thought, you know, <laughs> why not try to apply to as many schools as possible? The schools, total list of schools that I applied to in no particular order are Fordham, Penn State, Xavier, DePaul, Baylor, Roanoke, Marquette, Temple, University of Pittsburgh, uh, St. John's, Mount St. Mary's, Moravian College, St. Joe's, uh, Lehigh, DeSales, Northwestern, Washington University in St. Louis, Cornell, Yale, Harvard, uh, University of Pennsylvania, Princeton, Northeastern, Colby, Villanova, Syracuse, Franklin and Marshall, and Tulane. <laughs> I know that's a mouthful, but those are all the places I applied to. Something I realized very early on in the process actually was that um, it was really just for fun. I knew a lot of the places off the bat I wasn't gonna go to, and I was gonna decline those as soon as I got accepted or got denied or whatever, but I wasn't ter terribly worried about those. But um, I applied to every school for either finance, communications, or economics, depending on what they offered there. So those are, that's kind of like the field that I wanted to get into. I kind of had a little bit of flexibility in what type of program I wanted to apply to for each place. My extracurriculars, I'll talk about a little later in the video, and I'll talk about my grades a little later in the video. But um, just prefacing this, like, this is totally for fun. I At the end of the video, I will actually say which college I'm going to, but you know, it's just a little intro. So without further ado, here you go. Everybody know I'm better. Hey, yeah, I'm better. Hey, it don't matter. Hey, fucking fatter. Hey, little days of all my haters, they got sadder. Hey, funny longer. Hey, different song, but. Hey, different producer. excellence inside and outside the classroom and as you can see Villanova is a welcoming place full of bright caring and motivated people just like you Welcome uh, there we go okay so here we are we got my friend Ryan Hill right here and we're about to open up my Syracuse decision. Let's see what happens. Cross the fingers. Yeah, crossing the fingers. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey! Hey, let's go. Syracuse, woo! That's number 13, hey! Okay, so here we are today. We're opening up our St. Joe's acceptance, or not acceptance, decision letter. Oh, we're gonna pull it. Yes. We're not sure, we're not sure. Okay, here we go, here we go. We are logging in. Okay, here we go. We're going to go, please, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh, it's loading. Open application. Okay. Uh, oh, status update. Here we go, here we go. Okay. She can give me the word until the last day. Oh! Twenty twenty four, Grace. <laughs> Come in here. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So right now, I'm walking through my Franklin and Marshall portal. Let's see what happens. I'm not exactly sure how selective they are, but I mean, I'll find out pretty soon. Oh yeah, hey, Franklin and Marshall. I think that's number 17. So that's it's pretty solid. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna go there, but it's it's nice to see. Okay, back today. Colby, it's five o'clock, just came out, and we're about to check our status update. So let's see what happens here. I don't have super big hopes for, so whatever happens, happens. Here we go. 
so I was waitlisted from Colby. So it's not a rejection. So I'm still, I only got one. So I think we're still chilling. All right, so Northwestern just came out. Let's see what happened. I'm really not sure what to expect here. I'm very anxious. Here we go. Okay. Yo! No, there's no way! There's no way! Oh my gosh! Wow! That's crazy! I got into the school of communication! Wow! Wow! Oh my gosh! That's awesome! Let's go! Okay guys, so it is Ivy Day, March 26th. Um all the other decisions come out at 7. It's about 5.17 right now. And um Northeastern, I just got an email update from Northeastern saying that they're in, so let's check to see what happened. Oh, heard that, heard that. Let's go, Northeastern. That's lit. That's number 18. I just have to wait for the Ivies, which will be coming out in approximately like an hour and a half. So we will see what happens. Okay, so it's March 26th, it's Ivy Day, it's 7.05, all the decisions just came out. I'm a little worried, but let's, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna start with Cornell. I'm gonna go from like, I, I don't wanna say like the least likely that I'm gonna get in or like the least I'd wanna go, but we're gonna start Cornell. So we're gonna start, okay. You up. Okay, waitlisted at Cornell. That's not that's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, wow. Okay, wait. Okay, so that's like half of one. It's not too bad. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, and and's pretty close. It'd be really nice. Their business school is obviously unmatched. I'd love to go there. Here we go. View update. Oh, that sucks. Um. It's kind of short. It's literally like two lines and that's it. All right, that's that's okay. It's fine, it's fine. Um, let's go on to Harvard. This was really a shot in the dark. I I honestly couldn't see myself going to Harvard. I kind of just applied there just to apply there, but I mean, we'll see. Status update. Okay, rejection from Harvard. I mean, the people, the people that are getting into Harvard, it's like, they're just so up there. I can't even like compare myself against that. At least, they, at least they're not like you, Penn. At least they gave me a little more to work with here. Uh, I'm still hopeful. We have Princeton and Yale left. I thought my Princeton interview went really well, so I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Okay. Rejected from Princeton. This, this, this kind of sucks. This, this sucks. Princeton was probably my top thing, my top, top application. I thought I put a lot of work into it. I thought my, um, I thought my interview went really well too. So it kind of sucks. Just a little bit. It's okay. Um, we got Yale. I thought my Yale interview went really well. I was like, me and the interviewer went back and forth. We had a great, very great, great conversation. My essay prompts are also pretty interesting too. So I mean, let's see what happens. Yo, I got waitlisted at Yale. What? That's crazy. Okay, you know, that's not, that's not terrible. That's okay. Honestly, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not, I'm not mad about this at all. So that was a lot. Um, but after a very, very difficult decision of trying to choose one of the 21 colleges I got accepted to, I actually decided to go with... Syracuse University. Um, Syracuse, honestly, they gave me the most money. They showed the most interest in me, and they also have a dual major program for business and communications that I can get into. Well, I'll be perfectly fine doing both of the two things that I wanted to do at most colleges anyway. And I mean, at the end of the day, financials did play a large part in it, but I just think that this is going to be the best bang for my buck going forward in my career. So I'm very happy with my choice. Whew. And now, as I'm just wrapping up the video, um, I just want to say that overall, it was a very exciting process. It was really cool seeing all the acceptances roll in for the first half of the year and just you know kind of sending an application here seeing how it goes and then a few days later you would get accepted and you'd be like wow like you know 
you get a kind of an insight into the whole college process and it made the whole thing a little less boring and a little more exciting. Another thing, don't fear rejection. I see a lot of things online about people not applying to certain schools because they thought they didn't have a chance or simply just not even trying. And it kind of rubs me a little bit of the wrong way because, you know, what do you have to lose by sending in an application? Like, what's the worst that could happen? They say no. And if they say no, you can use that no as kind of motivation and move forward and try to accomplish something even better. So I think you should always try. I would not have applied to any of the Ivies if I didn't think that I had a fighting chance at what I bring to the table to even be competitive there. This whole process is just a great time to really build relationships with your teachers and your administrators and anybody that you might ask a letter of recommendation for. Um, my debate coach, um, we built such a strong relationship through this whole process because she would help me edit my essays. I would come to her when I had a question and it really, it really made me value the relationships that I already had in my school community and outside of my school community so much more because I saw how much of an impact I had on what they were doing and how much of an impact they had on what I was doing. So I thought that meant a lot. Also, look for fee waiver codes whenever you can find them. I think that was probably the one of the biggest takeaways. If I calculated and I sat here and I saw how much money it would have cost me to completely like actually apply for all these schools, it would have been well over thousands of dollars. In terms of the application itself, try to take your time on writing your essays. I probably spent like two or three weeks on each essay, really just crafting it and making sure that I was getting across the points that I wanted to get across. Um, my Common App essay was about my battle with pediatric cancer and how I overcame it, how it made me a stronger person overall. And I think that that was like a really powerful thing that I wanted to share with all the colleges because, hey, you know, despite all this happening to me, I still persevered and I still, you know, stayed strong. And I think that was a really important message I wanted to send. It's, it's okay to have a dream school, but don't get married to the fact that you like there's a school that's like your number one or something like that. For the longest time, Villanova was my number one. But then I kind of had to reevaluate and really think, why is it my number one? And when I really thought about that, I, was, I started thinking like, you know, Syracuse has everything that Villanova has. But then it also has a dual degree program that I can go into and do business and communication. So it kind of and it's significantly cheaper as well. So I was like, this is kind of a no brainer for me. The involvement that I had in my community was probably the reason why I got into a lot of these places. I am a part of our Pediatric Cancer Foundation. I'm on their teen board. I also volunteer with the LLS. I also volunteer with our local mini-thon to raise money for pediatric cancer. I'm the president of the senior class, the debate team captain. I just really wanted to get involved in a lot of the things in my community. And I think kind of seeing it, the admissions officer seeing that and seeing how much of a passionate and involved person I am, I think it spoke a lot of volumes. So I'm glad you guys stayed till, till the end of the video. I thank you all, um, you know, drop a like, drop a follow, subscribe, you know, do whatever you can do. But um, just thank you. And I hope that you guys have the best of luck going forward in your college endeavors. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Michael Weber. Uh, if you like the way that this video was edited and put together, uh, consider checking out my Fiverr. You, of course, do not have to actually include me at the end of the video. Jared was just a very nice friend of mine and decided that he'd let me take up this ad space. So, here I am. If you're interested in getting a video of your own made and done by me, and you like the way that this was done, then feel free to check it out. Thank you.